question, the member from Newmarket, Aurora. Thank you. Speaker, uh, on page 38 uh, of the auditors uh, to the Minister of Health, on page 38 of the Auditor General's report on the uh, <clears throat> scandal at Orange, uh, he makes reference to the solemn consequences of the mismanagement at Orange. He says this, we found that Orange internally reported 20 Order. significant patient adverse events in 2009-10 to its board of directors, including some that involved patient deaths. I ask the minister this, when did she first find out about this? Because we're sure that she must have known about it before we did in the Auditor General's report. And did she call in the coroner to do a full investigation of these cases? Well Minister of Health. Uh, speaker, as the member opposite well knows, I became aware of the Auditor General's report on the uh, 27th of October. Uh, speaker, I immediately took the action that has had demonstrable results. In fact, the member opposite has even described this as aggressive changes and improvements at Orange. Speaker, we took that action for many reasons, no reason more paramount than patient safety. Speaker, and I'm very pleased that Dr. Barry McClellan, the CEO of Sunnybrook Hospital, doctor. Speaker, and a very fine physician, in fact. Uh, uh, an extraordinary reputation uh, he carries with him, he has earned, is on the board at Orange Speaker, and he is heading up the safety, um, uh, uh, the safety uh, oversight at Orange Speaker. Answer. There is no finer person in this province, in this country, who could take on that challenge. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, Dr. Barry McClellan is not the coroner of this province. I find this most disturbing. The minister boasts about calling in the OPP upon finding out about financial irregularities at, uh, at uh, Orange. The Auditor General makes it very clear that there are serious operational issues at Orange that affect patients' lives. Orange failed, according to the Auditor General, to provide service for 7,500 requests during 2009 and 10. Of those 4,700 were emergency on-scene calls that Orange did not meet. How many more lives have to be put at risk before this minister calls in the coroner to get to the bottom of this? Will the minister acknowledge that one more time she's failed to provide the proper oversight, to take the proper actions, and given that, will she admit that she's not capable of handling this file, and will Thank she step you. aside? Be seated, please. Thank you. Minister of Health. Uh, speaker, I am very proud of the legislation that we have introduced to increase transparency and oversight at Orange. Speaker, I am hopeful that the member opposite will support this legislation support enthusiastically, Speaker, because it addresses issues that have been raised about the oversight at Orange. Speaker. <laughs> So it will give us more power, more tools, Speaker. Among those tools, Speaker, we will have the power that we currently have with hospitals, and that is to send in an investigator, to send in a supervisor in those extreme cases, Speaker, where public safety is at risk. So I look forward to the support of this legislation, Speaker, as we move forward. Here, here. Thank you. New question.